The fanfares were for G20 leaders rolling up to their annual summit. But for President Obama and host President Nicolas Sarkozy, they also heralded the latest twist in Europe's debt crisis, an about face from Greece's prime minister on plans to put a rescue package to a referendum. Backing away from those plans may not save his job, but could salvage a hard-won deal not just to save bankrupt Greece, but to halt Europe's financial agony. But here at the G20, we're going to have to flesh out more of the details about how the plan will be fully and decisively implemented. Global markets have seesawed as Europeans haggle over a massive tarp-like fund to serve as a firewall against Greece's chaos spreading to Italy and beyond. Obama's keen to help, but has made clear cash-strapped America won't be writing any checks. This one's for Europeans to solve, which his aides say they are doing. They are seized with the urgency of moving forward. They are working around the clock, they themselves and their teams, to try and work through these issues. Indeed, while Greek politics stole the headlines, the White House focused on details of bank reserves and sovereign debt. The implica implications remain the same as it relates to the need to take action on a range of fronts. But for the summit host, the Greek drama threatens Europe's currency and its dream of unity. Euro is the beating heart of Europe. Nous ne pouvons pas accepter. We cannot allow the euro to break up. And despite brave words in public, G20 leaders continue to worry that left unchecked, this crisis could tip the world economy back into recession. Mark Smith, The Associated Press.